year in this country, about 88,000 people die from alcohol-related causes. That is from the National Institute of Health. And aversion therapy for alcoholics has been around for decades, but for the first time, there is now scientific proof that aversion therapy is reconditioning the brain to fight alcoholism. Hannah Kim spoke to a woman who went through the treatment and the UW scientist who calls the findings groundbreaking. Every step Robin takes without a sip of alcohol is a big deal. I knew I was an alcoholic um, when, I, when my body craved the alcohol. So she waged a war against that craving by purposely getting sick through what's called aversion therapy. It absolutely saved my life. I don't think that I had the willpower to do it without the help of Shikshadal. It looks like a mini bar, but we're actually inside a treatment room inside Shikshadal Hospital. So this is how the aversion therapy works. The patients are given nausea medication, this syrup called Epicac. Then the patient is told to drink their alcohol of choice, whether that's beer, wine, or liquor. By the time they take that sip, the nausea medication kicks in, creating a repulsion against the alcohol. It wasn't a pleasant experience as far as the treatments go, but the overall experience was, it, it was pretty amazing. Life-changing. Absolutely. Robin has been sober for five years. I have not craved the alcohol. I have not had the desire to drink. And for the first time, there is scientific evidence of why Robin's desire went away, and it comes down to the brain. What we found was, significant reductions in craving related brain activity after they completed the treatment. Hunter Hoffman is a UW medicine radiology and engineering scientist who studied the brains of 13 patients before and after aversion therapy. The statistical significance on this was off the scale. Here is an MRI of a patient when he visualized having a drink. The red shows a lot of craving. After aversion therapy, this is what the same brain looked like even after the patient was told to fantasize about having that beer. 69% of the people were still sober one year after participating in this study. For Robin, it was hard to open up to me about her past, but she took the step because she wants to help others. I've never been happier. I've never felt better in my whole entire life. In Seattle, Hannah Kim, Q13 News. Well, Robin says she was at the Jason Aldean concert in Vegas during the shooting, and she says that type of trauma of that would have tempted her to turn to alcohol in the past, but not now. And she credits that to aversion therapy and the other treatments she received at Shikshadal Hospital. Interesting. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. Still